Investigating a community in mourning after a firefighter loses his life on the job. Tonight, the city of Lawrenceburg grieves for Jason Dickey and prays for the others hurt in the blaze. News Channel 5's Dan Kennedy begins our team coverage with more on firefighter Dickey's final call. This is a hard time and a trying time for our department. Firefighters spend a lifetime training for tragedy. I want to ask for everybody's prayers. But even the most well-trained can never fully prepare for a day as tragic as this. Engineer D Jason Dickey, 38 years old, succumbed to his injuries last night. Firefighter Jason Dickey responded to his final 911 call at 4.30 Monday afternoon. He boarded a fire truck and drove two miles away to a burning home on Hood Lakes Road. I guess everything just went about as bad as you could about as you could imagine. Eric Lanning lives next door and helped evacuate the home's elderly couple to safety. The flames spread and three hours later, firefighters heard the word they forever fear. We hear Mayday over the radios and uh, the roof uh, had collapsed, I believe, uh, on top of one of their firemen. A roof collapse trapped Jason Dickey and four other firemen for 12 minutes. The other firefighters rushed inside to rescue them. Four of them survived, but Dickey, an 11 year veteran of the Lawrenceburg Fire Department, did not. That was one of their men that got lost last night, and they'll all feel that. And I, I hate it for them, and I hate it for the family for sure. Dickey's family is just weeks away from growing. The 38 year old leaves behind three children and a pregnant wife due to have their baby soon. And now his family and these firefighters are left dealing with the tragedy even the most experienced are never fully prepared for. They're just like one mom. You know, these kids, these kids that I call kids because I'm the oldest guy here, you know, uh, are my boys. You know, they're the boys that I never had, and I've lost one of my boys. This rural home sits about half a mile off the main road, and fire crews even pumped water from the nearby lake at one point last night as a source. This evening, fire crews have since cleared the scene, and the investigation into what sparked that blaze is ongoing. Reporting from Lawrenceburg, Dan Kennedy, News Channel 5.